This is the book of Proverbs. Evil men understand not judgment. Book of Proverbs 28 verse 5. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. I want to give all honor and praise and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Also true of that beside the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach. Also the final five true fighter one west. This is part two. This is part two of um, the oppression of the uh, of the blacks, the so-called blacks, the so-called name and the so-called Latino descent. So yeah, um, I want to um, pick off what I left off at, you know, and and speaking on the so-called blacks and the so-called Native American in the sense in the so-called Latino in West Indy descent, you represent the twelve tribes of Israel according to biblical records and biblical prophecy. And I'll say peace and blessings to you and Shalom. And also our brothers and sisters scattered abroad the various islands. So yeah, so Esau Edom, which is the so-called white man, they don't understand the judgment um, that awaits them from the Heavenly Father. You know, they don't understand it. And it's and it's beautiful because they are clueless to what's going to happen to them. You know, um, let's get a scripture. Let's get a scripture on, on how it was prophesied from the beginning of time that um Esau and the other nations are going to get judged for what they did to the children of Israel. Let's get that in the book of Luke. I want to read from the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. They're not going to read, they're not going to share this with you or read this in read this passage in a so-called Christian church. Because it, it will expose the lies of Christianity. Let's get the book, let's get the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord Yahweh of Israel. See, that's a cut to Christianity right there. Blessed be the Lord. Let, blessed be the Lord Yahweh of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. Now, this talking about future tense. Future tense. But the only way you can understand future prophecy, you must have the testimony of prophecy, which is our King of Kings and our Lord of Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. If you don't have the spirit of prophecy, you, you will never understand this Bible. It'll, it'll be, it'll, it'll be for, you'll, be, you'll forever be confounded. Because you don't have the prophecy. You don't have the testimony. It says, And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. And as he spoke by the mouth of, of his holy prophet, which have been since the world began. So it was prophesied that Israel will be saved from their enemies. You know? You know, it was prophesied from the beginning of time, you know. It said that we shall be saved, Luke chapter 1, verse 71, KJV, that we shall be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercies promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. So it was, it was promised that we were going to be saved from our enemies. And, and not only are we going to get saved from our enemies, we are going to enslave those who enslaved us. So it's going to be a role reverse on the kingdom of heaven. You know, they will never teach this to you in the church, so-called church, because the real church is Israel. When you read the book of Acts chapter 7, verse 38, that church in the wilderness is a nation of people. It's not a building. Even the scripture explained that the Most High dwell in the temple. He, he, they're not made with hands. It tells you about that, you know. The Most High is a spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth, you know? So this Christianity garbage is going through the world right now is garbage. And another thing, too, this also proves to you that Christianity is garbage because the that lie has been spread across the whole world. And one of the major lies is the false image of Christ showing that everybody that is every man of 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 of, of greatness was uh, um, um, was of a Caucasian descent, which is a lie from the pits of hell. You know, they you know all the great men of the Bible was black, uh, and of color. You know, so it says when this gospel is spread, then should the end should come. You know, when this when the true gospel. That we are to, that we are the Israelites. That Christ is a black man. That he came for the Israelites. You know, he's he's going to redeem the Israelites from our oppressors, from our enemies. When this gospel is spread to the whole world, that's when the end is going. That's when the end is going to come. You know, 
Because Christianity and his lies been spread all over the whole world and ain't nothing happened, you know? Because that is that Christianity and Baptist, Methodist, they don't have the truth. That's that's man-made religions. Look it up. You know, look it up, you know. But yeah, so they're gonna get judged for what they did to us, you know. And the scripture said, reward her double. <laughs> that's in the book of Revelations. So Esau is gonna get rewarded double. You know, all the other nations are going to go into slavery, but Esau by far will receive the greater judgment because they, they, they did, they did to us the unimaginable because they took away our heritage, our identity, everything from us. They stripped the so-called black, the so-called Latino man, the so-called Indian man down to nothing. And they're going to pay for this. With that, I want to close it out. I want to give all honor. Praises and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Also, true Lord, beside the King of Kings, Royal to Himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach. And also, the Father of our true Father, one West. Shalom, Israel. Peace and blessings. Shalom.